Welcome back guys. So this is going to be the last update video of the young birds with their parents because they're gonna be moved to the big loft where they're gonna be flying this season too. We're gonna move them tomorrow and today's Saturday so as I said before they're gonna be moved on Sunday which is tomorrow because they're getting quite big already and some of them their parents are already have already laid eggs again so let's just take a look at but this one it seems to be a little bit scared so let's take a look at his sibling yeah see the feathers are starting to come in underneath the wing that's when you want to separate them from their parents some people also say when the when the tail is getting about five centimeters long which is the case as well so let's just do a small overview before they're gonna be moved look they're getting really big ready to be moved to the other one and these are the ones that were attacked as you can see it's still a little bit blood on the nose but, oh, this one <laughs> that's a feisty one this one is quite nice. Yeah, just both gonna be wild, wild checks. I think it's called. Look at how beautiful she's in the colors. At a moment, beautiful shape. That's one of the kids of our ace pigeon, two-time ace pigeon. Our main bloodline. The one in the middle over there is all is her brother, brother, and the one in the back, right over there, is also her brother. That's the first round one. That's a cockbird from the first round. That's a cockbird from the second round, and she's a hen from the second round as well. But she's absolutely beautifully built. Top sprinting bird. Anyways, let's get back to the kids. This, these are two from the big one, we call them, because they're the biggest cock we had last season. I believe, yeah, that's the one down there. That's the father. He's pretty big. Not expecting a whole lot from these two. Her mother is the one with the broken leg who came home, so you know, I am expecting a lot from these two though. Let's take a look at her wings. Yeah, they seem about right. And then this blue bar. She's probably gonna lay soon, again. This one might be laying tonight. That's her kid. And then of course, you know, all know what happened to this one. She's still on small young. Why you? Why you, are you sitting with them? They look like. Get off them. Yeah, this one's the smaller one that didn't grow the way he should. He's still too small to be moved. Yeah, he's still way too small. 
and his brother or sister is too actually so these ones aren't gonna be moved and this one's the one with the pretty color you know the white feathers and the white head this one's actually got a little bit of white too but not as much this one's gonna be a really cool color we haven't had that color before at least not in the three years that we've been raising pigeons but my grandfather probably has when he raised them this is gonna be a dark chick a really dark one he's actually quite big because you know he gets all the food for himself Anyways, this is the blue bar and the red bar I believe, but it seems like I missed something. Oh no, it's just a regular red bar. I thought I saw a white tip, but I guess I, I miss saw that one. And of course these ones, kind of special colors. They don't seem to grow as well either. But this is just a tryout, these ones. I'm not expecting a lot of them. Yeah, the lofts are really wet right now because the kids are getting quite big and they spill the water every time when it's like filled to the brim so you know that's why it's wet we actually spread chalk here two days ago and it's already like this again so it's time for these chicks to move out so the loft can get a little bit cleaner again. Yeah, they're gonna fight. Don't get behind the door because you won't get out. Yeah, all right. Get out. Anyways, let's move down. So this is gonna be the loft where the first round birds are gonna be moved into. And this one still needs a little bit of change. Maybe my dad has already started. No, it doesn't seem, seem like it. Of course, hands. I should probably put this light in this loft because this light is really you know, it doesn't give off an, as much light and I film, film a lot more in here so it would probably be more useful yeah the ones in here are, are getting really big because most hens have already laid again as you can see I don't know why but this cockbird always <laughs> sits like that in his nest box it looks like he's sitting on a nest but he's just sitting on the floor because the nest is back there look at this little floof gonna 
be an all white one with a small shine of red. Let's hope he makes it because those are easy targets for hawks and stuff like that. Of course the nice grizzle color. Those are gonna be too small to be moved, so yeah. Let's take a look at these ones. Yeah, this hen is already in here as well. This is the first time we're trying another hen against the big the big grizzle over there because his hen died. She had some kind of parasite, I don't know. And of course this one is getting really big, he probably should have been moved already. But he's about three days ahead of the older one, so... Can't separate him, separate him alone, so... These ones are... These look like some solid birds actually. Really big. Yeah. They're gonna be quite a good size. Yep. Tear off that one and that one. That's the cobird and that's a hen. That hen is actually a, a daughter of here of him. Or a granddaughter I believe, I know. And the also has bloodlines in her of the two time ace pigeon which is in here let's just grab this so they don't fly away of course these ones are still too small Yeet. let's move this I actually gave one kid away from him. Another fancier just went and got him. So that's why there's only one. And of course, that's the fourth, or the second round of kids of him, so that's why they're still small. kids are probably about right to be separated that's the one that causes the most white in our blood pigeon strain if you see a white pigeon it's probably hers grand child or child Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed a little update video before separating the birds, the young birds, which is gonna be done tomorrow and I'm also gonna do a video about that so stay tuned. It's probably gonna be uploaded Monday though. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment and subscribe maybe if you want to so see you guys soon